chapter 4 quadratic integers part 4 we are going to see derive the quadratic formula derive the quadratic formula derivation derivation of quadratic formula for that you should consider quadratic equation consider the quadratic equation standard form of quadratic equation consider standard form of quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 where a not equal to 0 that is the condition so this is standard form of quadratic equation so for this we are going to find out the uh, roots of the quadratic equation. This quadratic equation we are going to find out the roots. So for that we have to apply completing the square method. We have to apply completing the square method. Actually we are completing the square method uh, for you not there. Okay. Uh, since last year uh, they removed, CBC removed the completing square method. Clear? Yeah. But still I will uh, using completing square method I will uh, uh, teach how to find out the roots of the quadratic equations. Clear? See first step what you have to do is uh, you see the coefficient of x square. What is coefficient of x square here? A. You divide. You divide with that. That means divided by A. Divided by A. On both sides. On both sides. That means each and every term you should divide by a. a x squared by a plus b x by a plus c by a equal to 0 by a. Clear? Now here you see a and get cancelled with x squared uh, coefficients should, will become 1. So you how to make the x squared coefficient is 1. Then only we can apply the completing the square method. So this can be written as b by a into x. Now 0 by anything 0. So this plus c by a bring this side. That means minus c by a. Okay, now in the left hand side you see you are uh, having a squared plus 2ab plus b squared not there. So you have to find out the b squared here. So for then only what we can apply the formula a plus b whole square formula and then you can make completing the square. That's why it is called completing the square method. So here what to find out the uh, b squared. Okay, to find out b what you have to do is this x coefficients divider. X coefficients in four column you do x coefficient. What is x coefficient? B by a. Always you should. Uh, divided by 2 that means you should multiply by 1 by 2 that means what you will get 1 need to be b by 2a b by 2a you will get that is the rule here x coefficient you take and to multiply with 1 by 2 multiply with 1 by 2 means 1 by 2 into b by a is b by 2a this b by 2a you take it and the squaring do square because we have to get b square here b square is missing clear so you have to add both the side that means it will be balanced clear add b by 2 a whole square on both sides on both sides we get x square plus b by b by a x plus b by 2 a the whole square is equal to b by 2a the whole square minus c by a for our convenient first you write the side b by 2a whole square minus b, uh, c by a you have to write k okay. c by a 
Okay, now you see you are getting the a squared plus 2ab plus b squared form. You are getting or not? a squared plus 2ab plus b squared form. What is a here? x. What is a? x. Plus here plus there means plus you put. What is b? b by 2a. b is b by 2a. The whole square is equal to here uh, you make a square b squared by 4 a square. Numerator and denominator make a square. Minus c by a. Minus c by a. Right. Now see, uh, this is uh, applying a square plus b, 2ab plus b square. Okay, you, you are getting a plus b whole square. This is called completing the square. Completing the square. That's why it is called completing the square method. Okay, we are making one complete uh, square. Clear? Therefore, this can be written as x plus uh, b by 2a the whole square. The right hand side you make simplification. Here what is LCM here? We have 4a squared there, we have 4a is there. So 4a squared is LCM. Take LCM. 4a squared means the first term you write as it is. b squared minus here already a is there. So, so divide means 4a. So 4a into c, 4ac. 4ac. Just taking LCM in the right hand side. Right? Now I am going to what take square root on both sides because we have to find out x. Okay. Any quadratic equation that means uh, what uh, we can find out uh, x value by applying what factorization method. Clear? Sometimes you cannot do factorization. Clear? You cannot do factorization. That time you have to apply quadratic formula. That's why we are finding the quadratic formula. Clear? Here uh, you see, taking square square root on both sides, taking square root on both sides, clear? Because to remove this uh, square, you have to take square root on both sides, taking square root on both sides, square root on both sides. What you will get a uh, root of uh, x plus b by 2a the whole square plus or minus in the right hand side that is the rule in the right hand side you take what plus or minus whenever you are taking square root on, on both sides in the right hand side you know how to write plus or minus two value you will get one is plus another one minus that is the rule b square minus 4ac by 4a square now you take a square root, this side means a square will be eliminated. That means x plus b by 2a is equal to plus or minus. Here numerator and denominator you take the square root separately. Okay. Now we have to find out x value. So x is equal to this uh, Plus 2 by a bring uh, plus uh, b by 2 a bring this side means minus uh, b by 2 b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 a c by here uh, 4 a squared root means 2 a right square root of 4 is 2 square root of a squared is a that means 2 a therefore now you take LCM you take LCM here denominator 2 a here also denominator 2 a so x is equal to 2a. So minus b numerator we write as it is minus b plus or minus symbol there. So plus or minus you write root over b squared minus 4ac. So this is called quadratic formula. This is called quadratic formula. Okay. This is known as quadratic formula. Take 
x, x you have to take one value as plus, so another value as minus, so that x you can write, x is equal to minus b plus root over b square minus 4 is divided by 2a, then and x is equal to minus b minus square root of b square minus 4 is equal to divided by 2a, so you can take two values, since it is a quadratic equation you have two roots, okay, that's why here plus or minus is very important, plus or minus is very important, so you have to remember that taking square root on both sides, you have to make here plus or minus, the right hand side, both sides you have to take square root, in the right hand side you have to write plus or minus, here, that is very important, so this is called the quadratic form, quadratic formula, here, this whole thing is derivation of quadratic formula, very very important for you, so you have to learn the method, that is very important, okay, learn the method, this method is uh, very useful, in higher class, uh, what, uh, very very useful in differential uh, calculus, integral calculus, okay? differential nucleation. This method, completing square method, is very very important. That's why you learn it. Okay, this is the very important step. How to make whole square form? Okay, how to make whole square form? That's why what here b square is missing. That's why what you have to do is you uh, multiply this x coefficient you take and to multiply with one by two. Or b by b by a by two. You have to do anyway. You can do this. Is a okay correct way. That is one by two multiply means easily we can write b by two a. Then you will get uh, in the form of a squared plus b two a b plus b squared. Okay, this can be written as a plus b the whole square. A plus b the whole square. Okay, if you have doubt, you apply formula. A plus b whole square formula is correctly we will get this. Okay, correctly we get a squared plus 2ab, here 2a, 2a there, b there, here 2 to get cancelled means you will get this, then b squared, okay, that's why you are writing, so the method is very important, okay, this is very very important for you. So by using quadratic formula, now we will see some problems, find the roots of the quadratic equation by applying the quadratic formula. What an equation is given? You have to find out the roots. So even you can do what the factorization method. Clear? If it is possible to do factorization, then you can apply. Some equation you cannot uh, what, do factorization method. So that time you have to apply only quadratic formula. Clear? When the roots are irrational numbers, then definitely you cannot do factorization. Clear? So you have to apply quadratic formula only. So the quadratic formula is very very important. So first what you have to do is x square coefficient divide. A. A is the x square coefficient. That is 2. What is B? X coefficient. You have to compare the standard form of quadratic uh, equation here. And C. C is uh, plus 3. Right. So with sign. Sign is very important. Here when it is negative sign you have to write clear sign is very important now what is the formula therefore x is equal to quadratic formula minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all divided by 4 divided by 2a you have to read properly x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a okay simply you should not read uh, divided by 2a divided by 2a means then the, it, this mean, mean that only this term here so whole divided by 2a means both the term it is applicable here so that is very important reading uh, mathematics is very very important correctly you have to read then only you, <coughs> you will not do any mistakes right now you just to put the value in this formula, therefore x is equal to x is equal to minus b minus of minus 7 plus or minus square root of minus 7 the whole square minus 4 a, a is 2 then c 3 the whole divided by 2 into a is 2, a is 2. Therefore, 
minus of minus. Therefore, x is equal to minus of minus is plus square root of minus 7 whole squared is 49. Minus square means plus. So, minus 4 into 2, 8, 8 into 3, 24. The whole divided by 2 into 2, 4. Now, 7 plus or minus square root of 25 by 4. So, that is a 7 plus or minus 5 by 4. Now, only you see, S is equal to, first you take positive value, 7 plus 5 by 4. And 7 minus 5 by 4, right? Plus or minus. So, you have to split it. That is, first to take plus, then minus sign. Then only you will get two roots. Since it is a quadratification, you should have two roots. Now, x is equal to 12 by 4. That is, x is equal to 3. And here, x is equal to. 2 by 4, that is x is equal to 1 by 2. Therefore, 3 and 1 by 2 are roots of quadratic equation. Roots of quadratic. QE means quadratic equation in short form. Okay, so like this, uh, using a quadratic formula, you can find out the roots. Okay, even you can do this problem, this is uh, what, uh, <coughs> rational numbers. So, you can do factorization, factorization is possible. Here, if it is possible, you do factorization. But uh, here, they ask you by using quadratic formula. That's why we are doing quadratic formula. Here, using quadratic formula, we are finding the roots. Here, so remember this uh, formula, very, very important. You see this uh, problem, 2x squared plus x minus 4 equal to 0. For this, you have to find out the roots of the quadratic equation. So, you have to apply quadratic formula. Here. So, before that, uh, first write uh, here, what is a 2, what is b 1, what is c minus 4. Here. Now, apply x is equal to, therefore, by quadratic formula, x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, 4 divided by 2b. So now just to put the value here, minus 1 plus or minus root over 1 the square minus 4 into 2 into minus 4, 4 divided by 2 into 2. So minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus or minus plus 8, 8 into 4, 32 by 4. That is equal to minus 1 plus or minus root over 1 plus 32, 33 by 4. Now, we cannot simplify here. So, that now, how to write uh, x is equal to minus 1 plus you take first, plus root over 33 by 4 and x is equal to minus 1 minus root over root 33 by 4. So, this is uh, what irrational number. Two roots are irrational number. Therefore, are, are roots of given quadratic equation. Roots of given quadratic equation. Two roots, you see. Always the irrational uh, roots. One is plus, one is minus. That means uh, conjugate each other. Irrational roots are always conjugate each other. The middle sign, you see, one plus, one minus. Automatically, you will get. Okay. So, when it is irrational root, means you have to uh, use only quadratic formula. Okay. Using quadratic formula only, you can get the roots. You cannot do factorization here. Here, that's why quadratic formula is very, very important. You see uh, this problem. Here, A is, what is A? 4. Here, A is 4. What is B? 4 root 3. What is C? 3. Therefore, X. 
try quadratic formula minus x plus uh, minus square root of 4 b squared minus 4 ac 4 divided by 2a just to what apply the formula that means 4 minus 4 root 3 square root of 4 root 3 the whole square minus 4 into 4 into 3 4 divided by 2 into 4 so minus 4 root 3 plus or minus root over 16 16 into 3 how much 48 minus 16 into 3 48 divided by 8 so here what is happening 0 so square root of 0 square root of 0 is 0 ok so minus 4 root 3 plus or minus 0 is minus 4 root 3 by 8 so here uh, 4 table it will go 1 time this is 2 times so minus root 3 by 2 minus root 3 by 2 since it is a quality equation you have to write 2 times that is minus root 3 by 2 and minus uh, root 3 by 2 or equal roots equal roots of given quadratic equation equal roots of given quadratic equation when you get a uh, here one value automatically what you write uh, another value also same that means you will get equal roots you will get equal roots okay see the next problem 2x squared plus x plus 4 equal to 0 same way here uh, a take uh, 2 b is 1 c is 4 Always you should remember a means x square coefficient, b means x coefficient, no number means you take 1, then uh, <coughs> c is constant term, c is constant term, therefore x is equal to, write the quadratic formula, minus uh, b plus or minus root over b square minus 4ac, 4 divided by 2a, now replace the value, minus 1, plus or minus 1 squared is 1 minus 4 into 2 into 4 correctly put the value one minus 8 into 4 32 by 4 minus 1 plus or minus root over minus 31 by 4. So in the square root if you have negative root then real root does not exist. Real root does not exist here. Okay. Real root we will not get. That is a, a complex number. That is a imaginary roots. The roots are imaginary roots. That is a, you will get complex numbers. You get complex number. You will study in higher class. Okay. That is a square root. This can be written as square root of minus 1 into square root of 31 root over minus 1 is i we have to represent root over minus 1 is i that is imaginary number okay that's why simply you write now real roots of here uh, real i mean uh, real roots does not exist right or roots are not real therefore roots are not real Okay, when you have negative in the square root, okay, then roots are not real. Clear? Or you can write real roots are does not exist. See the next problem. X minus 1 by x equal to 3. So this is not in the form of uh, what, a quadratic uh, equation. Okay, the standard form of quadratic equation. It's not in the form of standard form of quadratic equation. So you have to make the standard form of quadratic equation, then you have to do find out the roots. So here take LCM, x means x square minus 1 equal to 3, cross multiply. This is just a simplification here, we to do the simplification part, 
this one bring this side means minus 3x minus 1 equal to 0. Now you are getting quadratic equation. Now we can apply quadratic formula here. Here uh, even uh, you can do what uh, factorization also. If it is possible factorization means you do factorization. That is better. If it is not uh, possible you do factorization method then only apply quadratic formula. Here we will check whether it is possible or not. Okay. So here uh, 1 into minus 1 minus 1 you have to get the middle term minus 3. So 1 into 1 only possible. So you will not get a middle term. Here while adding you will not get a top. Clear? That's why what factorization is not possible. That's why what you have to do. You have to apply only quadratic formula. Okay. So here A is 1. B is minus 3. C is minus 1. Therefore, x is equal to minus b plus or minus root over b square minus 4ac, 4 divided by 2a. So, minus of minus 3 plus or minus root over minus 3 the whole square plus or minus 4 into a is 1, c is minus 1 the whole divided by 2 into 1. So minus or minus plus that is 3 plus or minus root over here 9 minus to minus plus 9 plus 4 by 2 that is equal to 3 plus or minus root over 13 by 2. Therefore one root is 3 plus root 13 by 2 another root is 3 minus root 13 by 2. Therefore 3 plus root 13 by 2 and 3 minus root 13 by 2 are, are roots of given quadratic equation. Roots of given quadratic equation. You see the irrational roots, this one. So, roots are conjugate to each other. So, like this, you have to what, find out the quadratic equation first, then find out the roots. Okay. See the next two problem, very important problem. See, 1 by x plus 4 minus 1 by x minus 7 equal to 11 by 30. And x is not equal to minus 4 minus 7. So, minus 4, x is minus 4 means what will happen? Division by 0 is not defined. Here you will get 0 now. That is division by 0 not defined. Same way here also, 7 minus 7, 0, so division by 0 not defined. That's why what, x value definitely what, uh, other than minus 4 and 7, clear? Okay. If you get my x value minus 4 means that your answer is wrong, okay? That is the meaning. So now, here you see how to simplify, how to simplify here. So here, there is no common factor, means denominator you just multiply. How you are doing a simplification of uh, rational number? Same way how to do rational expression. This one, clear? So here, uh, just to uh, multiply, multiply the denominator. You multiply, or uh, you have to do cross multiplication. When you when you multiply the denominators, you have to do cross multiplication like this. Just remember, bring this one. Or this one you divide means remaining you will get. You have to multiply. The same thing you will get minus of minus there means minus of put in the bracket cross multiply z equal to 11 by 10. Next to what you have to do is remove the bracket in the numerator you see remove the bracket minus x minus 4 by here uh, you have to multiply x squared minus 7x plus 4x minus 28 equal to 11 by 30. So here 1 plus x minus x cancel. So minus 7 minus 4 minus 11 by this is nothing but x squared uh, minus 3x minus 28 equal to 11 by 30. You uh, see the numerator both side the same means you just cut it there. Put 1. Here. Both uh, side uh, numerator is same means you cut it here minus 1, here 1. 
when you cross multiply, first you multiply this because always keep x square the term left hand side. Okay, then this you uh, cross multiply. First you are multiplying this one, you are getting equal to. Then this one you multiply minus thirty. Now minus thirty bring this side. Therefore x square minus three x minus twenty eight plus thirty equal to zero. Therefore x square minus 3x minus 28 plus 30 plus 2 equal to 0. Now we have to do factorization here. Okay, you have to find out the roots. Either you can apply factorization method or quadratic formula. Here you just check whether uh, factorization is possible or not. Check. 1 into 2 equal to what? 2. Split up means minus 3 out to get. Yes. Minus 1 minus 2. Where it is possible. Adding minus 3 getting this one. Therefore, when it is x square coefficient is 1, straight away write that. x minus 2, x minus 1, x minus 2 into x minus 1 equal to 0. Then the x, the x square coefficient is 1, straight away you write that. You are finding factor now. The factor you have to take as it is x minus 2 x minus 1. Now you make a 0. Therefore x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 1. Therefore 2 and 1 are roots of given quadratic equation. So this is very important problem here. You try to understand here. You try to understand if it is uh, what a factorization possible, then do factorization method. That is easy here. It is not possible means apply quadratic formula. That's all clear. So the same type of problem I will give you homework. Okay, do the homework. What better practice?